All right, we're here at Arrow 2015. The show has just opened. I'm, t I'm talking with Claire about the uh, uh, new version of your tailwheel. Now, you had this product in the past, and you have a patent on this, yes? Yes, we did, actually. Uh, with this patent, we are trying to eliminate uh, the ground loop issue. Uh, we, we this, developing this product, we discovered that the, the ground loop the ground loop situation was due to a uh, distance that we call the trail. The trail, this this dis difference between the two axes. Exactly between between the rotating axis, the pivot point, yeah, the pivot point and the wheel axis. So with this system, we try to eliminate the trail uh, at high speed for landing for for takeoff and then for taxiing we change the, the the pivot axis and we switch to this one to a standard tailwheel that allows you to uh, to taxi and make u-turn when you need it so this is not an automatic thing this is something the pilot does that's the purpose of this cable that you have here and so when he's landing or she is landing mm -hmm. and uh, you want the wheel to be in proper trail behind mm -hmm. the airplane then it's fixed in position yeah. But when you get to the ramp or the hangar and you want to be able to turn very mm -hmm. tightly, now you can unlock that. From the cockpit. From the cockpit. Mm -hmm. And then the airplane can swivel very exactly. quickly. Mm -hmm. But that won't be the problem when you're landing when you don't want that action. Mm -hmm. Is that correct? Yeah. Okay. And uh, the, the difference with the lockable tailwheel that we heard in the past is that we, s we are still able to steer uh, when it is in the locked po position. See? This is in the locked position. Ah, ah, okay. So you have some movement, a range yes. of uh, maybe 30 degrees or so, something yes. like this? Mm -hmm. Okay. And in this position, you just follow the rudder. So you still can control okay. the steering of the aircraft at landing and takeoff. So and this makes it pilot friendly then. What he expects or she yeah. expects mm -hmm. will result in mm -hmm. the normal steering. Mm -hmm. Okay, can you unlock this now and show me that? <laughs> so we unlock easy. Ah, and now you see it can and swivel. Then, uh, then now then. you could turn almost in position. Right. All right. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. It's very easy to relock. You just have to do a movement with ah, the rudders. Okay, as soon as you come back to straight, it will automatically lock, and then yeah. you would have to pull again to unlock it again. Exactly. I see. Okay, well, while you did that, uh, Claire, um, now we begin to see over here, th it's only a cantilever construction, and this is new from before too, right? Yeah, we actually um, finalized the design of the tailwheel. <laughs> Uh, like, as you said, it's a cantilever uh, installation. We also change all the the um, the upper the upper part, which is all way this more is all new hardware. Then. All new. It's way more compact, and uh, we we worked on the on the position of the tailwheel compared to the rudder and the fuselage, so it doesn't change anything when we you switch from from the old one. Oh, oh, I see. Okay, okay. So this can be uh, retrofit then easily. Yeah, it is exactly the same way than than the than the Scott, for example. So it won't change the center of gravity or the position of the aircraft. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. Some very good work. Okay, now you have another version of this because this is kind of a large tailwheel. When I look yeah. at this, I think, <laughs> well, that would be a big tailwheel for my airplane. I don't have a tail dragger today. I should, but uh, I love tail draggers. But I look at this and think, this is kind of big. So you have a smaller version for us. Yeah. Can we see that, Claire? Ah, much smaller. Okay. But the same basic idea, still the cantilever construction. Yeah. The, the cantilever is, is quite different since the, the tires is way smaller. Sure, I see it's a smaller construction then. And the, this size of tire is, I would say, the most standard that you can find on a, on a LSA experimental and even, even certified aircraft. Okay. Yes, I would say this is a fairly common size. That one over there is sort of the, the big boy tire. Yeah, it is. It's, a, it's an intermediate between the baby bush wheel and the standard tire. <laughs> okay, very good. Well, in addition to the work with the... Um, what do you, how do you name this product, the, um... The anti-ground anti loop tailwheel. Anti-ground loop so tailwheel. You have a, a little name. You, uh, need, a, okay. you need a snappy marketing <laughs> name, but uh, we'll let you work on that. But anti-ground loop, it says what it is, and, and that's the concern for many people who say, oh, I don't want to fly a tail dragger, I hear about this ground loop problem. You have the solution. Yeah, we are trying to open the market to people that are afraid of, uh, of ground looping in, uh, with tail draggers. And it really solves the solution. It's the we would say it's the ultimate solution. We we flew we flew this system for more than a hundred hundreds um, hours, 
and it works it works perfectly excellent all right well thank you for telling us a little bit about the all new construction now we'll look forward to see you next week at sun and fun but uh we had a chance to capture this this is the first showing of this product is it to the public yeah and now it's now finalized and we're gonna start the to, the selling uh like next week okay and cereal production will follow yeah, then yeah. Mm -hmm. all right well thank you very much for talking with us today thank you claire very much. all right